Right, what's up everyone? Beautiful day in the mountains. I just got home from work and I bought some parts. So today we're going to do some unboxing. This is all sluggy stuff. Um, and honestly, I've just been, uh, I've been busy with the other race cars and just all this body fitment is starting to wear on me a little bit. So I'm happy to be turning my, my attention in a different direction for a little bit here. Um, but yeah, we'll do some unboxing here. I'll show you what I got, and uh, I'll tell you, you know, what my what my next couple steps here are going to be with these new parts. So let's get right into it. All right. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah! Boom! Let's go! Ah, this is a Kirky 65 series. It's an all aluminum road racing seat and it's fully adjustable. So it has a bunch of different positions you can adjust it into. Um, and I'm missing stuff already. So that's really exciting. Oh, look at that. Boom. So yeah, there's a bunch of different positions in here that you can adjust the back and you can also adjust the degree. Uh, uh, you know, your lean back and stuff like that. Well, I'll get that together in a minute. But let's see what's in the big box number two. Bingo! Fuel cell! Alright, so this is a Jazz. It's a Jazz 16 gallon oh, with uh, plastic bladder and foam inside. Um, I'm going to be getting a filler neck that will bring it up to, you know, that big long hose that'll bring it up to where it's cut out in the uh, rear clip there. Otherwise, I'll get a door for it or something. Um, but yeah, so these dimensions, it's different this way, not big enough this way for the bracket I already have in there, but this way should be the same. If I measured everything right, um, that should drop right in there and I should be able to secure it to that bracket that's already in there. So that's pretty cool. What else do I have? Steering shaft. So now that I have my seat, I can start getting the whole cockpit area figured out. So I have my steering shaft, uh, I have a heim joint somewhere, I just had it. Um, and yeah, so I can start getting this all put in there now and uh, get the seat put together and get everything comfy in there and, and really start putting the cockpit together. So that's pretty exciting. So I'm going to put this seat together and then uh, look over where I left off on the car. It's been a little, been a few days since I was in here, so. There you have it. We got a racing seat. So I'm just going to leave the cover off for now. Um, I want to leave it in that plastic that it came in so it stays nice because uh, I'm going to have some stuff flying around in that cockpit. So I just want to make sure it's uh, you know nice and new when I actually go to sit in it for the first time. So I want to get a rough idea about how this uh, seat's going to fit in there. What kind of room I'm going to have. I'm just messing around with this seat right now and trying to see where the best spot for it is. Um, you know, I got good reference with the other C3s, you know, that number 13 car, and then there's a couple other C3s at, at gyms that I'm kind of using as a bit of, a bit of templates. 
But right now I have it so, let me show you. So right like this, I got good clearance this way. I got room to run, because uh, my AccuSump line, my oil line is gonna, I want it to be right here with a valve on it to uh, open and close the AccuSump. So that's good. Uh, I got good room for my arms. I still have to add this second bar, but that shouldn't be a problem. Nothing's gonna be past this. You know, nothing's gonna be closer in than this bar, so. I got good room for my arms. Uh, I'm staring right down the steering column there. I got decent sight out of the front of this thing. It's a lot like number 13. The visibility in these cars is already trash, no matter what you do, so. But uh, yeah, and it looks like my shifter, you know, depending on what kind of handle I get, will be somewhere in this, in this area. So that's all making good sense. The big thing I gotta figure out is this pedal box. Um, you know, I'm not using stock pedals. So it's not like I can, I can base the, you know, I, I well, it's gonna be a stock throttle. So that's at least something maybe to start with. And then it's all a matter of finding where my feet are comfortable. Um, because I have that Willwood pedal box and that bracket to use to go off this front dash bar. Um, and I'm gonna have, I know already, I'm just looking at it, I'm gonna have to reinforce the hell out of it and just get all, get all the movement out of it up and down. Because just those that just that box that's in it, that's not going to be nearly enough to, to sturdy that thing up. So a lot of work to do, a lot of fab, but this is good. This is good. It's a good project, uh, and it's a good change of pace from uh, from fiberglass to this. So I can use a different part of my brain now. So that's nice. So what I'm doing right now is, this is the old steering column, and I just, I have this, I have it in with zip ties. Um, I'm just seeing what kind of length I'm gonna want. If this is close to the length, you know, if I should make my new one based off of this. Um, they're gonna be a little bit different. I think the old sluggy had to clear some things that I won't have to clear because he's got two heim joints in it. I'm only gonna have one down at the box which will keep me safe, you know, from, from eating this thing in a wreck. It won't go through my mouth. It'll collapse the hind joint. But this one had two, I imagine, because he had to bend around something. But I'm trying to get an idea of length and also position up and down like this. So what I'm doing is I'm just zip tying, um, and that's going to give me a good idea of, of where I need to be. So... Also, I'm, I'm always testing for head clearance this way and up. So this works best when I'm sloughed back, you know, kind of, kind of towards the center. Straight, dead straight is like that. And that puts it really right in the middle of me. So, and I know about where my throttle is going to be because that's going to be in the stock position. So I know about where my right foot needs to be and, 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 and the rest of it, you know, it's a, it's not a stock pedal box. So I have some some wiggle room, and I can really put it where it's gonna be the most comfortable for me. And right now, what I'm going for is I want this thing to be about dead even with this right here, you know, with the bottom of the windshield, so that it doesn't obstruct my view, but that it can, it, it can be up high enough to keep my elbows away from here. And, and just put me in a comfortable driving position. And you know, it's just all, it, I'm gonna take some time to do this because it's gonna be super important. You know, this is going to be the seat that I'm going to be sitting in and driving. So I'm going to make it so that it's comfortable for me. You know, seeing if I got room to heel toe, making sure that the shifter, the shifter I think is going to be in a good position no matter where it ends up because I can make that up with, with whatever kind of handle I need to make. Um, that's not feeling too bad right there. And it's like dead straight, which is great because... I have this straight, this straight uh, steering shaft. So if it can be close to straight, and if I can make it work where it's close to straight with this one, 
The straight, the straight steering shaft should work great. If anything, I got a little bit of bump up there. And I know a big issue for me in, in the other cars that I drive is, especially in that number 13 car, my knee wants to hit the bottom of the steering wheel when I heel toe. So when I have to bring it up, because you kind of bring your knee up to the center, or at least I do, um, and, it, it, and, and usually it's when you're hard braking, you know, you want to get into that. So that's the last time you want to jostle the steering wheel at all. So this is important stuff, and I'm just going to take my time on it and, and make sure I get something together that's going to be real comfortable for me. I'm excited about this, though. Things are feeling good in there. It's... Once I get this in and I put a dash together, it's gonna start feeling like a real cockpit. I'm excited for that. So, I'm gonna keep on plugging away. Oh, what's up? Back on Sluggy. And I'm gonna keep working on this steering column and uh, hopefully figure out the pedal box here. So, I'm just gonna get back to that and cut some stuff apart, get some brackets, do all that jazz. pretty good fairly clean just gonna clean it up with the grinder kept the radius there so I'll still be able to stick it on the pipe and yeah just a little bit of cleaning up all right I've been wandering around like half starting things and getting stuck I need to do something I need to do one thing so I'm gonna make brackets up for that seat and get the seat bolted in. Cause I've just been, I'm nitpicking, you know? I'm like pigeonholing myself. I'm getting, I'm getting myself stuck. I'm thinking myself into a corner. So I'm gonna make brackets. I'm gonna secure that seat in and then I'm gonna rough in the column. It's okay if I fuck it up. It's only a car. I can always go back and fix it. I just gotta do something. quest to do something even if it was wrong I did something and it was wrong um, started making seat brackets I don't have the right stock here to make the seat brackets that I want to make I just don't I need something thinner than this fucking three eighths piece of plate steel and I just like charged ahead on it and uh, I, there's no reason to use this. It's ridiculous. So I just gotta slow down. I just gotta slow down. I thought about deleting all this stuff from the videos but I think it's important for people to see that things don't always go great and, and a lot of times you're fighting and um, there's good days and bad days. And I want this to be truthful and honest and, and show you the bad stuff too. Um, so far, this is not a good day. So I'm gonna take a little break and then I'm gonna get back to it. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with this seat. I've installed probably 10 of these exact same Kirky 65 series. But being that that's the case, I'm gonna walk away from it and I'm gonna start doing something else. I'm gonna get after this fuel cell and uh, just start seeing how that's gonna fit in here. To do that, um, honestly, the easiest thing for me to do is gonna be to slough this rear clip off, so that's what I'm gonna do.
bracket's not going to work. I'm going to make a new one out of the old one. Um, I'll make it nice and simple and lightweight. So basically it's going to go from, I want this to be flush with the bottom of that cross member. And I'm going to come straight off that 90 up. And then I'm going to have uh, a piece of band steel here. That's going to grab two of these bolts to lock it in. And then off of this upright, off this 90 degree piece, there's these brackets here that are already on. I'm going to drill a hole through the side of them and then have tabs that come out so I can bolt it in here. So it'll be bolted here, bolted to the cross member, and then the actual frame, the actual fuel cell frame will stay with the fuel cell. So it'll be four bolts to take it in and out, and the frame will stay with the fuel cell. That's my plan. Okay, it's about 100 degrees in here. I'm wiped, I'm over it, done. Um, yeah, next time will be better. Now I got good, a good start on this uh, fuel cell bracket. Today's been fighting back on me, you know? And I think just rather than, than being angry and doing subpar work, I'm just gonna call it and uh, come back in the morning refreshed and and ready to attack this thing um but yeah i mean these are the parts that you know i feel like a lot of people don't show you and um when you're working on a car like this you're gonna have bad days don't beat yourself up about it and um no one to stop no one to stop because it's if i keep going right now i'm just i'm gonna do a i'm gonna do bad work or b i'm gonna get myself hurt and i don't want to do either of those things uh, and this car deserves really good work. So I'm just going to call it, come back fresh tomorrow, and, uh, yeah, make some progress. I just got to bang one thing. As soon as I get one thing out, I'm going to break through that ceiling. I'm going to break through that glass ceiling, and, and things are going to feel better again. So I just got to get one thing done. Um, so that's it for today. Wild Strawberry Garage signing out. Like, comment, subscribe. Share it with your friends, and uh, we'll be better tomorrow.